Glock started making polymer frame striker fire pistols back in the 1980s and it transformed the whole firearm industry. In fact, when the police departments really started embracing the Glock, the Glock became the most popular handgun in America. All of us know about the Glock and a lot of us know about the Glock field knife, which really is where Glock got its start with field knives and entrenching tools. The pistol was actually later on, they had no experience with pistols, but they had a lot of experience with polymer. Today, we're gonna to take a look at their e-tool or entrenching tool. And this is something that Glock really started off the whole Glock tradition. So you can go from this really compact size to a really compact shovel. You can expand it out. Then hidden in the handle is a saw blade. And you can put different positions to make it into a spade. Now, I'm almost embarrassed to say that this is the first time I've had any experience with the Glock E-Tool. I got on eBay and I saw that Optics Planet was actually carrying it. And so I got in touch with them. They sent me the E-Tool. And not only that, they're going to give viewers a 5% discount using Suit00 at checkout. Guys, I've owned Glock pistols for over 35 years. And, you know, I mean, they're just legendary. And there's not really that needs to be added to that. Uh, one thing I've also owned for a long time is a Glock field knife, and these are great knives. Now, this is a new one that I've just picked up, but they're fairly inexpensive, but they're just super quality, and it holds up to the Glock name, has this really nice sheath. I mean, this makes a great survival knife. So to be honest, the E-Tool was a no-brainer, and I was really glad to get one, and honestly, I've been wanting to pick up one of these for a long time, so we're just going to take a look at some of the features, and then we're going to take it out, and we're going to use it. One of the things, though, that Glock says is these, there's no rivets to this, there's no welding. I mean, it is one piece of metal attached to the handle, and so that gives it a lot of strength. Now, it is very lightweight. In fact, it weighs about 23 ounces, and then with the cover, it weighs a couple of ounces more. So, you know, it's very easy to carry, much lighter than a lot of the other e-tools. And we're going to do a little bit of a comparison with the U.S. made e-tool just to kind of give you an idea. Here we have the Glock logo right here. And then this is the polymer, which is very much like the regular Glock pistol. Now you have a handle right here that you adjust. And it actually has four different points to be able to adjust this shovel. And so we're going to go ahead and open it up. You can bring it out like this. Uh, you can bring it into a position like this. And, of course, there's a position actually right here. I don't know what you would use that for. And then, of course, all the way out. Now, one of the things about this particular position is that it does allow for a decent self-defense tool with that short grip. Uh, and maybe if you're in a real tight spot, this would be a good way to be able to do some digging. Uh, but the great thing is, is this handle is telescopic. And it pops out, and then it screws in, but it screws in opposite. It's like righty-loosey. So we go ahead and tighten it down, and then it screws into place. So that makes this a very stable handle. And here you can see, you know, you have your places to put your boot. Uh, I did hear where one guy said that if you're not careful and you hit this, it can adjust it somewhat. And we'll look at that more when we get it out into the field. And then here at the end, go ahead and open this end cap up. And, of course, out comes your saw. Now, this is more of a push saw, so you're going to be getting all your action going this direction. Now, it fits right down to the base of the handle, and then bring your cap over, and then tighten it down. So, again, with the screw, it's going to make it really sturdy. And, two, this is going to help you to keep your hand right here, then going past into the saw blade. And, at the tip, it does have a flathead screwdriver, which can be used to maintain your tool. Right here, we have a small little slot with a screw in here. If you need to tighten it down, you can. You can also take the saw itself, and there are two little grooves right here. And if you want to tighten this down, just lock it and get a good, firm grip on the adjustable knob. And then again, here, we've got a screwdriver. We can adjust this. So everything is maintained right here inside the E-Tool itself, which is really compact and really lightweight. The handle is rounded off, so it gives you a nice grip, very comfortable to use. Now, the cover is some kind of Kadura. It's very thin, more like a canvas than some kind of Kadura. But the canvas, this just seems to be a little bit cheap, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm not really impressed. Uh, it is Velcro closed, and then it just fits down in. Uh, and on the back, you have a belt loop, and then you also have D-rings right here. Or little rings to be able to put this you know you can attach this to a pack or you can put a shoulder strap on here if you want this is 25 inches fully extended 
Guys, if you tighten this down with the saw blade, you're gonna have to use a saw blade to loosen it up. I mean, it really tightens it down. Then into the pouch, drops in very easily. Velcro shut. And guys, this will go well in a pack. And that's one of the things about some of the harder shells, especially like with the USE tool. Uh, this is really compact, it's soft, and it'll be great in your backpack. And there is a grommet down at the bottom in case any kind of water or anything gets in here. Now we're gonna do a little testing. I'm gonna pull it out of the sheath. Really easy to come out. Uh, you can tighten this up or leave it loose. Go ahead and get it into the open position. Tighten it down again. You wanna go the opposite direction. And we're good to go. This ground is soft though. We've had a lot of rain. Don't even need to use my feet. I think one of the things about this is that it is so thin, so it really cuts through the dirt very easily. Now we're going to saw this little small tree. We'll pull out my little saw, pop it in, tighten it down. I'm going to leave this thing extended. I think it'll give you a lot more leverage. Now the best thing to do is to push because this is a push saw. Here we go, good clean cut. That's not bad. I think the best thing to do though is remember you're pushing when you're cutting, when you're bringing back, you're releasing. Pretty aggressive saw blade. This seemed to retain a lot of dirt. We'll clean that up. Now wash this thing down with water and I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on it because it is metal. And I saw where some, uh, one guy had one that left in his pack and it seemed to rust some, but a lot of the finish was off. Now, one thing about this, and you can tell, I mean, we've used it. I mean, we didn't use it extensively, guys. This is mainly just to test it out. But um, finish held up fairly well just with this. And um, we're gonna really put it through its paces over time. But uh, so far, I'm really liking this. So let's take a look at the US military tool next to it. Now, I have one of the US military shovels or entrenching tools. Uh, you know, it's definitely, I mean, I love the case. That's definitely a big plus. Uh, I love the saw on either side, but obviously we have a saw inside here. Uh, and then, of course, it just kind of pops down, unfolds, folds back up. I mean, this thing is all metal, and it's going to be heavy duty. It does have rivets, which these rivets can tear, and uh, that's one of the things that Glock talks about. But uh, the one big thing about this shovel is that it weighs almost three pounds. And so that is definitely something that, to consider because it's going to weigh your pack down according to what you're doing. But for me, for easy, lightweight, in and out, I mean, this is definitely has a lot of advantages. And I mean, you can tell the difference. It is massive. Uh, and I think this will compact down a little bit better 
Of course, you know, you have your, your metal here. This folds down. I mean, I love these old E-tools. Now, I have one of the East German tools here. This is an old military surplus. Got these at Sportsman's Guide. In fact, we're doing a whole comparison between a lot of the different shovels and E-tools from a number of different countries that's coming up. But I think for something that's super lightweight, and I mean, this is state-of-the-art, I don't know. It's hard to go wrong with this. Now, considering this cover to me is a little bit subpar, I was really interested to know if it would fit into the regular U.S. cover. And of course, this is like a rubberized cover. While it does insert, it does not close. And I'm sure that has a lot to do with that handle coming down. When it comes to the East German cover, I guess these are German cousins. <laughs> Austria, Germany, right in there. It does work. So, if you want a better cover, get an East German Flectarn cover, which is pretty cool already. <laughs> because inquiring minds want to know. And by the way, this is the German shovel. You can see that it is pretty much just like the U.S. shovel. It's very versatile. It's super lightweight. Uh, at Optics Planet, it runs $42.89. And you get a 5% discount using Suit00 and the coupon code. It's not affiliate link, but I do appreciate Optics Planet for sending the e-tool for this test and evaluation and for giving you guys a little bit of a discount. If you're serious about prepping and survival, check out Survival Dispatch Insider, one of the best resources on the web. They use many of the top leading experts in the survival prepping community. We upload one video there exclusive to the Insider every week. I'll have a link down below in the description. Check it out. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. So guys, the Glock E-Tool runs about 43. I don't know what it is. Drops in very easily. And uh, they did a great job. I really appreciate them. We've got a... Guys, while I was down in the woods, I went ahead and cut up all this wood with the saw. And I didn't want to bore you with a long video, but man, this thing is awesome. Not really. <laughs>